Hi guys, this is DC Game Clips One, and today I'm going to be um, showing you how to um, uh, do Windows 7 God Mode or go into Windows 7 God Mode. Now, I do have a website which um, shows you how to do it in a written way, um, and it's in steps. So, what I want you to do is you need to copy and paste this off this website. Uh, this these steps will be in the description as well as the website, so you can also look at this and everything like this that I've done. And um, what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop, new, and then folder here, and then rename this folder. So just click off that, and then, or you can just rename it straight away. Rename it, delete the text. And then I press Control V to paste it like that, or just press, or just go in to there and press paste, and then do that, and just click off it or press Enter, and it will come up saying God Mode like that, and it'll look like the Control Panel. So just like that, and I'll zoom in on there, guys. And then if you double click that. Uh, there it is guys, you're in Windows 7 God Mode and you have literally a hundred thousand different things that you can do to your desktop to make it so much better. You can change the resolution, you can, you've got taskbar and start menu, troubleshooting, system, sync center, speech recognition, sound, remote app and desktop connections. Region and language, recovery, programs and features, power options, phone and modem, personalization, uh, performance information and tools, uh, parental controls, notification area icons, network and sharing center, mouse, uh, location and other sensors, keyboard, um, what else can you do? Internet options, indexing options, home groups, uh, getting started, fonts, folder options, ease of access center, um, we've got display, devices, device manager, desktop gadgets, so you can, have, you can add gadgets to the desktop and stuff like that and widgets and stuff, things etc like that. Uh, default programs, date and time, credential manager, color management, backup and restore, autoplay, administrative tools and then you've got action center. So that right there is god mode as it says there. That's it guys. That's how you get Windows 7 god mode. So 270 items. Um, thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out a lot, if you don't have a YouTube account, um, please just check the links in the description below, and I have a Facebook page if you wouldn't mind liking that, that helps me out as well, so thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, and I hope you can all do this yourselves, so, bye.